Great, thank you so much. Um, so I'm honored tonight to present a resolution as we begin our last meeting in August, which is recognized by the state of California as American Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month. Sacramento is home to one of the oldest Muslim communities in the United States, a majority being South Asians who came to California in the early 1900s as immigrants seeking education or as refugees fleeing colonial oppression. Sacramento is also home to the Muslim Mosque Association, which is the oldest Muslim mosque west of the Mississippi River. The, the Muslim community has a strong history of giving back to the community, which was especially visible during this COVID-19 pandemic. Al Mispa, in collaboration with local mosques, provided over $400,000 for those in need and distributed over 30,000 pounds of food. The Council on American Islamic Relations, also known as CARE, created community webinars to ensure the community was connected to resources and health information. And the Shifa Clinic, directed by Dr. Hamad Khan, partnered with local mosques to deliver over 7,600 COVID-19 vaccination doses to residents throughout Sacramento. In addition to this being the end of the American Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month, this is also a timely recognition given the situation we're currently witnessing in Afghanistan, as many Afghan people are leaving their country to seek refuge. We're anticipating that thousands of these refugees will end up in the Sacramento region in need of significant community support. So in addition to this resolution tonight, in honor of Dr. Hamad Khan of the Shifa Clinic and the Sacramento Muslim community, I'd also like to use this opportunity to state my intent that we continue to work together to ensure the long-term success and happiness of our new neighbors from Afghanistan. And with that, I'd like to give a couple minutes to Dr. Khan and Basim Okra from CARE to share a couple of words with us. I believe that they're participating. Oh, there's Dr. Khan, hello. <laughs> Hi, good evening. Thank you so much, Councilmember Penesuela. It's, it's it's an honor to meet with you guys and we have an opportunity to address you tonight. Um, this resolution means so much to our community right now. And particularly over these last few weeks, the, the community here locally, both folks that have been here for decades and really established roots in Sacramento, and also a lot of our families who are more recent refugees or maybe more recently came from places like Afghanistan, Iraq and Syria, have been struggling. Um, people are having a difficult time and folks have, have really had a, a, a real tumultuous couple of weeks right now. Um, with this resolution, the, the work being done by CARE, by Shifa, by Al Mizba, and so many other Muslim-led organizations in town is really being highlighted, and it's incredible to see the council recognizing the work that's being done. Um, for me personally, I'm a, I'm a physician. I'm based out of UC Davis, and um, I work with a lot of these community partners, and I have the unique opportunity and the unique challenge of often being sort of the, at the intersection of health disparity, of public health, of mental health. Um, and really having the opportunity to really key in on our works with our refugee and our immigrant minority communities here locally. And it's, it's incredible to see the, the advances that we've made and the work that's being done, particularly within the Muslim community, but there's, there's still a lot of room to go. Um, I appreciate the council's conversation earlier about just being very mindful as we you know, think about fundings and budgets and things like this, that we're, we're thinking about those who are often the most, uh, most in need and often the least resourced. And, and particularly in mental health, that is a, a very large issue that we continue to face. Um, I just wanted to share briefly about my own family. I'm a, a product of you know, immigrants. My family comes from Pakistan. My my parents, uh, for me, then Azakat Khan, are you know they came to Sacramento about 30 years ago, and they came here like many other families who are wanting to get a you know a new life, a new place to establish themselves, create something better for their children, and. You know, I grew up here in West Sacramento and Sacramento. I went into some of our local Catholic schools and did all my medical training here at, you know, our public universities at UC Davis or continue to work. And it, it's really been an amazing place to be able to be a part of a community that's really embracing of diversity, a community that can recognize that, yes, we face challenges. I'm a, you know, a Muslim American that grew up in post 9-11 America. And We've seen the worst of discrimination and xenophobia and this, you know, oppression, um, both you know, at, at local and national levels. But at the same time, we've seen a community that stepped up, um, a community that's persevered, one that's shown itself to have courage and strength, and most of all, one that's been incredibly compassionate. And as someone who has a, a six-month-old that I'm raising here in Sacramento, um, I'm really, really excited to see baby Sophia again, you know, live her life here in Sacramento. And hopefully have a, you know, a community that's joined by families from Afghanistan and other parts of the world that also want to come here and establish a new life and a better life for them. And I'm really looking forward to continuing to work with Basim, who's a, a friend, a mentor, a big brother to me, and um, a lot of our other community organizations who continue to do amazing work. And I'm hopeful the council is going to continue to support us in what we do. 
Austin, do you want to speak? Yes. Um, dear Mayor and Council, um, I greet you with a greeting of Muslims. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. Uh, thank you for your commitment to Sacramento's diverse communities. Uh, today is a historic day for the Sacramento Muslim community. The Sacramento Muslim community is over a century old. If one visits the Sacramento Historic City Cemetery, you'll find Muslim leaders born in the mid 19th century buried there. There's a Muslim section as well as an Afghan section. The founder of CARE Sacramento Valley, Rashid Ahmed, gave me a tour once and showed me the early leaders of the community in the historic uh, Muslim Mosque Association, while the Muslim section is tucked away in the corner of the cemetery. Maulana Barakatullah, one of the founders of the Ghadar Party, the party that fought for independence of India from the British. Uh, the Ghadar Party is significant as it even influenced Gandhi's movement in the region, in that region of the world. Barakatullah uh, was also um, what, um, the prime minister of the first provincial government of India established in Afghanistan in 1950. Maulana Barakatullah died in 1927 in San Francisco and was buried near the entrance of our city's historic cemetery. Many of the leaders that founded the Sacramento Muslim community were freedom fighters from the subcontinent, and that is reflected on their tombstones. Many of them were Punjabi, who along with the six came to the valley to farm, but due to the Chinese Exclusion Act, they weren't allowed to own property. Additionally, Sacramento is home to a historic Black Muslim community. Many come from the War Dean community, a community that pioneered in the service and justice of Black folk. One of the most iconic and quintessential American Muslim cuisines comes out from this community, the bean pie. This community, often dubbed the Ansar, welcomed the waves of new Muslims from all over the world that moved to the region through their institution. In our region, we have many street names with Islamic origins, Muhammad, Muhammad X Court, Mecca, Medina Street, because one of the most prominent developers after World War II came from a Muslim background. Today, Sacramento is leading in the efforts to support the Afghan refugee crisis. Every Sacramento Afghan resident is somehow impacted by the crisis in Afghanistan. And our legal team at CARE is working 24-7 to help our Afghan community members by working with Congresswoman Matsui and Congressman Barra's office to get, our community's member, to get our community members and their loved ones evacuated from Kabul airport. CARE, through the city's fuel network, will continue providing pro bono immigration support to our community. Sacramento has a history of welcoming refugees from conflict zones. Sacramento can be one of the most diverse cities in the world today because of its embrace of refugees and immigrants. We have a sizable Bosnian, Vietnamese Cham, Palestinian, and Somali community here that rivals that of major cities. These communities have found a home in the city of trees, and they continue to serve our community with love and resilience. And I'm so grateful, grateful that the city is celebrating them and affirming them today. The Sacramento Muslim community inherited and continues to produce a legacy of freedom fighters, community members that care for and serve the justice of all people and the most vulnerable. This is what drives us at CARE and our community. We look forward to continuing our work in the city to uplift, empower, heal, educate, and protect those who need it most. Thank you. Great, thank you. We have a couple of our colleagues who want to speak. Uh, Council Member Lolowi. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Um, today is, is a special day. And um, I can tell you as a Muslim, I'm very proud and I want to thank my colleague, Council Member Venezuela for, um, for that introduction. And it's an absolute pleasure meeting you, Dr. Khan and uh, Mr. Basim. We've seen each other in, in, a, in, in a few occasions. Uh, it is a proud day um, um, to be a Muslim, but it's also a very concerning day with what's going on overseas in Afghanistan. And we have to stay united. And I'm hoping that all the Muslim communities within U.S., Sacramento, California, condemn the work that is happening by the Taliban in Afghanistan in the name of Islam, because that is not Islam. And that's the one thing that I want to make sure that the people around the world recognize that Islam is, is, it, it, it advocates peacefulness, togetherness, recognizing every religion, so I am hoping with the, with the, you know, with individuals such as yourself and the other brothers and sisters that we have here, that we stand united and reach out to our, our, our um, politicians and, and let them know that what's going on overseas in Afghanistan has nothing to do with the religion of Islam and that the Taliban are not at any point even remotely representing 
this wonderful religion that today we're celebrating and it's being recognized in the city of Sacramento. Again, I want to thank you, Council Member Velazuela, to taking that step. And it's a proud day. And I want to thank Dr. Khan and Basim for representing. Um, we still have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of brothers and sisters overseas right now that are being executed as we talk uh, in the name of religion. But we do have to stand uni united and denounce them that they are not representing us, that they're just a group that is on, a, on a, their own uh, um, timeline. So with that, um, it's a proud day. Um, I don't want to take the thunder out, but I am very concerned about you know, the brothers and sisters in Afghanistan right now um, that they don't know if they're gonna, what's going to happen tomorrow. And that is very concerning. So thank you very much. That was just my two cents. Again, Dr. Khan, Vestim, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Council Member Guerra. Thank you very much, Vice Mayor. I wanted to, again, thank uh, Dr. Khan here. And also, uh, thanks, Basim. I think we've almost 18 years of work together, you know, uh, working side by side on the issues of immigrants and refugees. And uh, I wanted to uh, clearly thank all the contributions of our Muslim community here, not only in, uh, in Sacramento, and I know personally in my district, we would not have uh, homes built uh, in our own area with Habitat if it wasn't for the partnership with CARE and many of our Muslim community members who came out for the Unity Build to provide housing for folks. And when, you know, at the beginning in 2016, when we had uh, issues with, uh, with the Trump administration, with many uh, um, you know, uh, immigrants from Mexico and Latin America, and even uh, with, uh, uh, you know, at the time, the Muslim ban, it was uh, you know, CARE and other organizations that stepped up and said, we need to you know, make sure that everyone is treated equal. So today, I mean, clearly, as, as Boston mentioned, the, the Fuel Network would not have been there without the coalition partners of everyone working together. And now more than ever, I think it's important that we, our city, continue its effort to help uh, our, uh, our Afghan refugees who have already been coming here. I think uh, many folks don't know that over the last four years, we've already had uh, that transition. And uh, you know, Houston and Sacramento are the two focusing points of, of where uh, many Afghan refugees are seeing um, that they're saying that they want to be with their family and friends. And so I'm, I'm excited about working together as a city to support uh, uh, our community members, but more importantly, reminding us about the strength of our unity here. So great, uh, great to celebrate this today. Thank you, Council Member Valenzuela. And uh, you know, let's go Sacramento. Hey, Mayor Steinberg. I just wanna say uh, to Bossom and to Dr. Khan and to CARE that every time this community has a challenge around race, around diversity, around discrimination, around hate, CARE always stands up, always. Consistent, ethical, and, uh, and always reaching out to others. I, you know, I'm especially proud of the relationship among the leaders of the Jewish American community and the Muslim American community, because it, it, it is contrary to maybe what some people would expect. Uh, but in this community, if we disagree on anything, it, what we agree on is so much more important and what binds us in this community and our, and our care and love for one another. And I just uh, count it as one of my, you know, just one of the happiest things about living and serving in this community is the way we relate to one another and the work that you do. And of course, maybe your most important work, our most important work is ahead of us in the weeks and months ahead as we welcome, welcome um, the Afghan refugees to our community. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Uh, sure, Council Member Vang. And then I have a couple of things I wanna say and then we'll, we'll get going on our, on our agenda. Thanks, Vice Mayor. I just wanted to take this opportunity to say, well, well, thank you, Councilmember Valenzuela, for presenting this resolution and recognizing Dr. Hamad Khan and uh, the 
American Muslim Appreciation Awareness Month. Uh, really proud uh, that our city is doing this. I want to give you a shout out, Councilwoman. Thank you so much for bringing this to council. Uh, thank you, Dr. Khan and Boston, just for your incredible work uh, in serving, protecting, and holding healing spaces for all of our communities, not just the Muslim community. Um, and I think similar to what the mayor shared, um, especially um, y'all have been on the front lines when it comes to racial justice for all of our communities when there is an urgent issue uh, right in front of us. Care has always stepped up. And so want to also just say thank you for your, your heart and your hustle and everything that you're doing for all of our communities. I think this is what makes Sacramento so beautiful and so great. And I'm so honored to celebrate uh, you both and our Muslim community at large in Sacramento. So I uh, just thank you so much for everything that both of y'all have done uh, for the Sacramento region. Great, thank you. I, I just want to say, and then Katie, you can finish it up. Um, both my wife and I are members of an organization called Salam Shalom. Uh, she with a women's group of Jewish and, and Muslim women and myself with a men's group the same way. Uh, it's been a wonderful experience. And I, I firmly have always believed and continue to that until we know each other's stories, uh, we'll never get to where we need to go. So I want to thank you for the work you do and, and thank you for the work that CARE does. Uh, as the mayor said, extremely important uh, for our community. And um, we will be there for you just as you have always been there for us. So uh, Katie, do you wanna finish this up here? Thank you, Vice Mayor. And I just wanna thank Dr. Khan and Bassam for, for joining us and being patient as our meeting ran long. And I wanna note that the resolution is signed by all of us. And Dr. Khan, if you notice there in the background has it displayed, we were able to get it to him just in time for this. Uh, so that thanks to our amazing city team so that he could have that to display for the community. So thank you all for creating the space. I just think it's so important now more than ever, not just in August, but every month for us to solidify this partnership and commitment. Um, to our Muslim community. So thank you both for being here and your beautiful words.